guys welcome to Vince Genetics and before we start this workout I want to show you guys what I take pre-workout and after the workout I'll show you what I take post-workout but this is my personal you know, stack right now and I'll show you so pre-workout is pretty simple we've got here mega arginine and what arginine does it's an amino acid but the um, what you want to have during the workout is a pump and one of the characteristics of this supplement this amino acid is that it delivers nitric oxide to your muscles and that aids your muscles in getting a pump you know a long-lasting pump a better pump so what it says here is that it's the only precursor of nitric oxide and of creatine so that means the nitric oxide gives you a good pump and the creatine, as we all know, increases your strength. So that combination of a good pump and an increase of strength, this supplement can definitely help. And this is basically, I don't like too many stims, so for a pre-workout I take this and next to it I take you know, a caffeine pill of about 200 milligrams. Or you can just take a big cup of coffee. You know that'll do the trick as well but you know this is kind of you know a supplement like this i like that to use pre-workout as opposed to uh you know something with 14 different ingredients but that's just my opinion so we have arrived at the workout and as i said i took the mega arginine or arginine to enhance the pump and I also took a caffeine pill, but the caffeine isn't necessary every time. I even suggest limiting your dose of it only to when you feel tired and just beat up from the day you had. Like, you know, certain days you might have been spending all day at school or have been working hard and to hit the gym then, a little extra like some caffeine might give you that edge. At least it does to me. So, anyway. We start out with the bench press and like always all the way up and personally I prefer all the way down. Getting a good stretch and a full range of motion creates a full developed muscle. And we did pyramid sets here ending pretty heavy. Well, but I'm kind of weak right now because I'm still recovering from my competition prep that I did. After about a month I should be back to my old strength. Uh, we ended on about 140 kilos on the bench press at the last set. And the next exercise that you're seeing right here is the incline dumbbell press, one of the best chest builders there are. And the first thing I want to say about this is that you shouldn't put the bench on a 45 degree incline as most people do. I suggest putting it on a lower incline like 15 to 25 degrees because I feel uh, this angle targets the upper chest better without including the front delts as much. Especially since the dumbbells allow you to contract the pecs a lot better as opposed to the barbell, uh, you can get more out of this by adjusting the incline to optimal levels. So next time try it out in between 15 and 25 degrees. Time for cable flies, guys. And now that I have experienced doing them upright more, I'll mostly be doing them like this from now on because personally, I've always found it difficult to only contract the chest during cable flies without involving the front deltoids. You know, standing more upright like this has fixed this for me, especially during the squeeze because when I stretch I try to lean forward a little bit to enhance the stretch um, you can get a complete and satisfying squeeze this way though and that's what we're after because you know this exercise I made it consist of quite a lot of volume quite a lot of reps 
and that has a purpose we want to pump up the pectoral muscles as much as possible right now because the next exercise it is time to stretch them out again and in my opinion the more the muscle is pumped the more effective the stretch becomes and that's why i like using pump enhancing supplements such as the mega arginine we talked about to maximize the pump that you get and oh yeah it does look pretty good as well so now we have arrived at another fly exercise except it feels like a totally different exercise because now it's time to stretch the pecs as I said and this to me is the single most effective exercise to do this in my opinion one of Arnold's staple exercise to build such an enormous oak-tastic chest and I've been definitely seeing some gains myself so try not to contract on this exercise because the tension is lost when you move the dumbbells too close together just focus on constant tension and make sure you feel a very deep stretch at the bottom almost like you're literally trying to expand your ribcage you know this is one of those exercises that simply should be in your routine if your goal is to create a golden era physique. And guys, take full use of the pump and do some posing. Increase that mind-muscle connection and judge your own physique. And the reason I like posing isn't really to see what my strengths are, but rather what I can improve. And you know, to me, that's the fun bit about bodybuilding. I like certain classic poses a lot, for example, and by hitting them every so often, I can pinpoint exactly what muscles I want bigger to make the pose flow even better. Another basic and classic exercise right here, straight from the golden era, performed by Arnold and many other classic bodybuilders, the body weight dip. And after several chest exercises, I don't think adding an extra weight is necessary. You know, the funny thing is, I can do pyramid style sets without even adding any weight. You know, if your rest time in between sets is short enough, you automatically fail sooner than the previous set. So the first set is easy, the second set becomes harder and so forth without adding any weight at all. You know, that's how I like to perform this exercise at least. The last exercise of today, the dumbbell pullover. You know, at the end of the day, it's a simple and classic training methods that keep working the best that keep yielding results this workout is an example of that start out simple and end simple while keeping in mind the correct form and intensity so the dumbbell pullover is a very good exercise to end a chest workout with you fatigue your chest even further and you hit the top part of your chest a lot when you contract and you stress the entire chest during the stretch part of the movement and you also automatically practice the vacuum which i will make a video about soon by the way and you hit the serratus muscle another golden addition to a classic physique an all-round great exercise that everybody should at least give a try for a while and I'm glad that lots of people have tried it out and some and made some classic gains I love reading those comments so keep them coming guys so now that we are done training it is time to check what I usually take post workout and that's a bit more well extended but it's still pretty basic so let me show you first of all of course it's way isolate and I'll be pretty short about this you need about uh, 30 grams of protein to tell your body that it can start fixing and repairing your muscles so taking this right after working out would be beneficial it's not necessary but I just like taking this to ensure that you know I'm doing everything in my power 
to tell my muscles basically to repair themselves after I have damaged them during working out. And in conjunction to the isolate, I actually add beetroot juice concentrate to the mix. And uh, this is kind of probably something weird to you guys, but I like adding th stuff like this that is, you know, basically scientifically proven to help. Uh, you know, to aid in muscle recovery and uh, increase uh, your stamina over time because this also uh, contains nitric oxide which, you know, gives you a better pump, delivers the nutrients to your body, to your muscles faster. But the most important thing about this, the most important thing though about the beetroot juice is that it uh, rids your muscles of toxins you know this helps cleaning out your liver cleaning out your system uh, more efficiently and most importantly it's beetroot juice concentrate so it's you know a natural uh, ingredient so it also contains all the other vitamins and minerals that goes that go with beets beetroots and uh, you know to some people it doesn't really taste that good but mixed with you know the right flavor of uh, of a whey isolate that I just showed you it really is very drinkable but I like it on its own even so but what it does is you know when you train you build up a lot of toxins and waste products in your muscle cells and in your body in general and taking this will aid your body to get rid of them faster and that's what now you want. added to that and this kind of looks uh, you know you don't know what it is but it's as you can see it's a powder and uh, this is creatine and I just add five grams of this to my post-workout shake you know so it can be just as strong as Goku but you know creatine is one of the supplements that's really surely you know creatine on hydrate but this is surely proven to work you know, even taking three grams a day has, has already been proven to increase strength and endurance during short burst exercises. So uh, this is just uh, five grams after your workout. You know, it doesn't really matter when, but I like after the workout. Uh, just add this and it'll surely increase your performance. And then the last thing is Vitargo. And this is a carbo Hydrate. But the difference between this and a regular, uh, you know, carbohydrate like dextrose is that this is a heavier molecule. And where does this end up? This ends up in the muscle and stored as muscle glycogen. You know, you you uh, used up all your muscle glycogen during the workout, and you want to replenish it with this. And taking this, a fast digesting carbohydrate increases insulin secretion by your body and when your insulin goes up your muscle cells take in more nutrients more carbs and more protein I kind of think of it like this it works differently of course but because it's a heavier sugar molecule it pools with it more nutrients and creatine and everything than a lighter weight molecule would at least that's what the science about this says but for most people you know what I recommend for most people for guys starting out you know only training two to three years even just uh, the maximum you, sh you should do really is take uh, a whey product not even that but you know you could do just a whey concentrate one scoop and take a banana or two post-workout and uh, you know the creatine just uh, five grams a day doesn't matter when you take it but that's enough I just take all this because I've been training for eight years and I really want to get the max out of everything I do right now because I'm also a competitive bodybuilder so now I'm still young I want to improve as much as possible so that at a young age I can do a lot of golden era damage to the modern stage so this is basically the maximum one should or could take that is effective in my opinion. Um, taking anything more than this when you're a beginner really doesn't add that much in comparison to uh, 
you know, a simple whey concentrate shake and uh, two bananas. Or, uh, you know, I do think isolate is always better, but the difference it makes in the beginning phases when you're just starting out, it's not a big of a deal. So, especially when you're low on money, uh, not e you don't even have to do whey concentrate. You can just go home, eat something that has a lot of protein in it, try to at least take 30 grams of protein, whether you're a beginner or not, and uh, some kind of carbohydrate, uh, preferably some kind of fruit that kind of di digests pretty fast and uh, you're good but when you're you know, when you've been training a couple of years and you really want to get more out of what you're doing in the gym I suggest uh, you know looking into some of these supplements so you can um, supplement your lifestyle with benefits so guys that was the video for today uh, there's more nutrition and supplements video coming up, you know, where I, I kind of explain uh, more in depth of why I choose certain supplements and uh, why I choose a certain uh, food choice, you know, why I made a certain food choice. And um, yeah, cooking, meals, uh, maybe uh, and even a full day of eating, maybe kind of a vlog style. I don't know if you guys are into that, but yeah, I'll be looking into... Uh, making videos like that for sure and I want to get it at least one up this week and uh, I'll keep posting of course as much as I can and I hope you enjoyed this video and most importantly don't forget to stay 